So I wanted to sp spin up a quick video uh, to show everyone how to use Terraform just to quickly provision a few resources. Uh, and those resources are going to be an EC2 instance, uh, a Route 53 um, A record. So an A record um, is basically a domain name that is scoped to an IP address. So if you can imagine just uh, you're spinning up an uh, EC2 instance and it has a it has a IP address, we can assign a a domain name, in this case a subdomain, uh, to that IP address. But that whole setup is called an A record, okay? And I'm gonna show you what uh, that actually looks like uh, over here. So uh, right now I haven't done anything. I'm, I'm getting ready to set it all up, but uh, so right now the instance is not spin up. The one I'm gonna spin up is called MVP. So that's minimal viable product. Um, and I'm gonna create a, uh, a Route 53 record under my domain. So sruniversity.org. Uh, and one of the ways you do that in Terraform is you need to know what your hosted zone ID is. So it's long story short, whenever you create a... Uh, a domain in Route 53, the first thing it does is you have to create a, uh, a hosted zone. And a hosted zone is just a container that the provider uses just to hold all of your DNS records, okay? And when you do that, you get assigned a, uh, a zone host ID, which is this guy right there. But when we go inside here, you know, I've been active on this. I have a lot of domain, subdomains and stuff like that, whatever, but... Um, so uh, I have a lot of subdomains that, that I've already created. And one of this, the ways to get something up and testing it is just creating an A record. So these right here. So these are all domain names that are scoped to a public IP address. And that's it. So we're going to do that right now because I'm actually in the process of uh, kind of creating a little application myself. And I want to put it up on the web. And I was like, hey, maybe a lot of folks don't know about uh route 53 and this how to create a record i know i didn't <laughs> coming up it took me a while to understand this so i'm just going to show you what it all boils down to so so first things first let's just go ahead and let me just go ahead and launch everything apply everything it doesn't take long to spin this up So, I have a little bit of Terraform here. I am just creating an instance, EC2 instance, uh, with an Elastic IP. Uh, an Elastic IP, uh, basically what that is, this is, the Elastic IP is what makes everything work, okay? So, normally, whenever you create an EC2 instance, it gets us, uh, and you have it in a public subnet, or a public subnet, and all that. Uh, it gets assigned a public IP, IPv4 address. But if you were to stop the instance, it will get released, and that's not good if you have like a business that's using a website to you know draw traffic in and do business. Um, especially like what I just mentioned about those IP addresses are like hard scoped to a domain name so that's not good long story short so an elastic ip is an ip address that's sticky uh or it just stays it persists even though you know whether or not you have your instance on and the domain that i just created here okay so i just created this elastic ip and updated a domain an rd uh, route 53 record so now let's go over to the ec2 ec2 instance Okay, there's my there's my MVP. Okay, now we should be able to. Uh, I have to look into this. Uh, I let me see here. Yeah, so I have a little web server that's supposed to be running in there. It, it may not be up and running yet, but the main thing I just wanted to show you was just kind of how to get that up and running. Um, so that's really all I wanted to demonstrate right now. Just kind of how to configure some Route 53 
And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And, uh, you know, I just want to make this quick video. Um, thank you all. Please support my channel. Uh, it's the Cloud Shepherd. And uh, definitely look forward to making a lot, lot, lot more content going forward. Thank you. Bye.